Hey, 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 everybody. Michelle is here. I'm going to get a look closer in your face this morning so you can see. Okay, this is this is the real me with, you know, scars and whatever, whatever. You know, there's no, hopefully there's no, no more filtering. I took all, you know, I did, every time I take some of that filtering stuff off, it's like it, it, it's good as it comes back on. But I hope everybody's doing fantastic, magnificent, and marvelous because I am. I am. <laughs> so we're on this Friday, Friday, May 24th, 2024. And I recognize that. Let me see here. What's up with that? Why did that show that? I'm, I'm, t I'm assuming that this, is this the weekend that everyone's celebrating or something going on? I'm not sure. I don't keep up with that anymore, with these holidays and these events, which are, you know, I, I think, I think cultural events are extremely, extremely important, um, especially to expose your young ones to those kind of events. Just expose them to experiences, please. You know, they're going to thank you later, even though they're going to be pissed off with, you know, our, a lot of our children and descendants and ancestries are going to be extremely extremely disappointed in us okay extremely and you know they're gonna have i mean there's gonna be reasons for it. it's not that like they're gonna be pissed off for no reason they're gonna have a reason to be pissed off with us and so disappointed in what we've allowed to happen not only to ourselves but to this planet so uh, just add, and I'm gonna just still make this very clear. Um, I, I'm gonna be all over the place in my videos, and that's that's how I'm gonna be rolling. And I have my reasons for that, and I don't necessarily have to justify anything. No one needs to really justify anything unless they have the free will to do so. And I told you, uh, you know, it's no longer business as usual. Whether you are an actual business owner, business leader or whatever, or board member, or whatever your title is, employee, staff, okay, if you're still operating as if, some people are still operating as if we're in the 90s, and some are thinking as if we're in the 1800s, okay, so I'm going to do what I can to, to help condition the consciousness, now what what does all that mean? That means just give you some something else to put in your ears, to put in front of your face, you know, and see if we can remove some of this layering of stuff that's blocking a lot of our visions. A lot of people, and that's literally, figuratively, and metaphorically, by the way, symbolically, um, a lot of people are just blinded by their own selves. And that's that ego part that degenerate ego part of themselves that's blocking everything from their view. And they have no idea what they're talking about and what's going on. But even though, you know, we could, you know, it's a lot of people going around pretending. A lot of people are pretending. And I can pick that up right away, just like everybody, just like you can. You know, it's just imagine you are married to someone. And when they're in your presence, they're acting some, uh, acting one way. And as soon as people come around them, they're acting another. That used to irritate the hell out of me when I had certain people in my life. And I'm not going to say who they are, <laughs> you know, just to protect privacy. But that's what that's what usually was happening. You know, they, they, they're around me and they're just crying and they're, you know, pouring out their, pouring out their, um, why they're upset and this and that and the other. And um, and I sit there passively listening and just doing whatever I can to understand what all of this is about and be encouraging. And then as soon as someone else, as soon as other people come into the picture, okay, this person is uh, 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 the life of the party. All of a sudden they dancing and, you know, everything. You know, it's, it's crazy making. Okay, it's crazy making, and because a lot of people just don't know how they're behaving and acting, or they choose to recognize that. Um, as as I've uh, you know navigate through this 
this maze, because we're all in a maze, believe it or not. And we're just trying to, a lot of us are just attempting to find our way out, find the sunshine, find some light. And that's what people, a lot of people keep saying that too. You know, take me to the light. I want to go to the light, you know, not recognizing that, you know, wanting to just exclusively go to the light is just as degenerate as exclusively wanting to go to the dark. Okay. Even though that, even though, yes, the path is, uh, you know, will open up the light for you, a lighter version of your reality for you. The darkness still exists. You just have to know how to navigate it, how to neutralize it. Okay. So, As I said the other day, I think it was yesterday, <laughs> I can't remember so many things going on. A lot of people think they understand the mind, <laughs> you know, and it's, and it's kind of, it's comical when you think about what we are attempting to do with the mind. And, 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 and it's, the, it's the literal part of it, the mind. We're not understanding that the mind was a metaphor back in the days, you know, Socrates, Aristotle, they weren't talking about the physical mind, you know, the brain, you know, the physicalness of that. They were talking metaphors. And a lot of people missed that. They took everything literally, literal, everything's literal, literal, literal. Like, okay, let's, let's drill a hole in the top of our heads and put some probes in there and see what we can, you know, it's, 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 and that's what we do. That's why a lot of animals have gone extinct because we were doing those those type of things as well with animals. Remember all these experiments on animals? And people get all, you know, I mean, we, we just have caused so much damage to ourselves and our consciousness that like some are just lost in an abyss and they will not come out of it, will not come out of it ever. And then what they'll do is end up... Uh, uh, the can in their, the can in that uh, material meat brain there, you know, the in it because there are certain fun functions of it. If you don't use it, you lose it. And when you, when you're using it, that means you're thinking. But when you're not using it, of course, you're not thinking. And what it's going to do is decay. And it's going to atrophy, and then it's going to turn into this self-made uh, dementia that we've caused. We caused a a dementia to be created in our or you know in this organic brain because of misuse and the misuse is we weren't thinking properly it's you know when you're thinking properly it just sends the right kind of signals it sig sends the right type of sounds and tones it's energy what keeps us alive is energy okay and that has to and and and, and the thing is with energy it's invisible, just like lightning, just like, you know, it's, it's, it's like, you know, you can see us as atoms if you want to. If you want to, you, you know, if you want to see us as atoms, you know, to make it, you know, it's, it's, atoms are a small, smallest unit of a chemical element. Okay, the smallest unit of a chemical ele element, that's what it says here. But they're invisible, but yet they have this, uh, it has a force to it where it can be pinpointed and tracked. And so thus, that's where, you know, physics comes in, you know, all, the, all this other the elect, the electromagnetic force, you know, when you, when you are facing south, you know, you're, you're facing in the right direction to feel the impulses of the electromagnetic force okay so so again when it comes to learning um, we just have to be properly thinking and so that's my quest as well to help with pe help people to think properly and that go you know and it starts you know, and then you'll start unraveling all the stuff that you that is garbage to you. In other words, you're gonna start clearing out the garbage and then bring in, you know, 
if you choose to you don't have to so that's that's going to be very very hard for people that are intellectual talking heads though they're not going to they're not going to touch they're not going to touch being told something other than they think they know it's not going to happen and, you know I, I i monitor people i listen to them and you know the ones that are getting all the all the media attention you know they they they're, they're going to fall on their face which they have but again failures are teaching tools and learning tools but it's the type of failures that some of these people are making these intellectual talking head know-it-alls you know they are causing destruction to innocent people in their quest to be you know this great mind which is nothing more than a great meathead actually that's what it is it's i mean when you look at it literally our brains are you know a, you know, a pile of meat condensed together, but they have a certain function, you know, in our learning and developing. So, um, I know what I'm up against. You know, I'm up against this, uh, it's this force of people who will not go away, okay, because they cannot go away, because they know if they go away and no one's paying attention to them, they're going to recognize that they are nothing. And then they're not going to know what to do with that. But that's the most powerful thing to, to recognize and to contemplate. I am nothing. Because you, because you are at the end of the day. When you die, again, your brain stays, stays right here. Your heart is right here. It doesn't go anywhere. But we give it that power that, that is as if it's, all powerful, you know, our hearts are all powerful. Our hearts are a necessary component to keeping us alive, yes. But the energy is invisible. Okay, so I want to keep doing what I'm doing. I know that I'm making an impact, and it doesn't necessarily have to reflect in reports and, you know, the, you know, I mean, gosh. I'm so, and I'm so I'm just so disappointed that people are buying stuff. You know what I mean when I say buying it, falling for these deceptions and manipulations. There is going to be a severe collapse, a severe collapse, literally, figuratively, and metaphorically. And the question I know I keep putting these on putting on because I don't like that light. The question is. When the rug is pulled up, pulled from underneath you, where are you going to land? And that's literally, figuratively, metaphorically. You know, if 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 your materialism that you hold so dear, that has so much value to you, is swept away by a flood, burned to a ground with uh, from a from a wildfires, destroyed via earthquake, destroyed via this or that and the other. What are you going to do? You know, so, and, and what if the, uh, the, the, uh, the powers that, the, that, um, control the infrastructure of how we get, you know, the cables of our internet or however that, however that is worded, you know, what if all that shut down? For some of us, we're going to really um, persevere and be resilient in that type of climate because, you know, we prepare for it. Our consciousness is ready for it. But, you know, for a lot of us uh, on the planet, unfortunately, they're going to succumb to all of that and not, be able, not going to be able to, you know, stand themselves. And that's literally, figuratively and metaphorically, meaning they're not going to be able to stand and look themselves in the mirror because they're going to be blaming themselves and being so harsh towards themselves because they just did not wake up in time. They didn't pay attention to the signs that's out in nature. Because, again, we take in knowledge from our source of our environment, our climate, our, you know, we bring it in to our consciousness we bring it into our brains, we bring it into our minds, whatever you want to call it, okay? 
and then we cultivate it. We it, it circles in our realities of who we are, and then it comes out in experiences to help you learn it and help you help you absorb it. Everything is about absorption. Okay, absorption. How you absorb knowledge. You know, not how many books you're reading. I could, you know, anybody can read a million books, as I said. And, um, I mean, be clueless. And sadly, that's being exposed. So, the exposures are going to continue. People are going to be dropping like flies, metaphorically, figuratively, in their realities of what they call success and, they, and their belief of being successful. You know, and when, like I said, when all that is washed away or somebody pulls a rug from underneath you, then what? And a lot of people that has happened to them where they thought they were on top of the world. They thought they could say whatever they want, do whatever they want, and, 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 they, didn't, and they didn't understand that. And they became arrogant and cocky and uh, underdeveloped in their, in their confidence. You know, they didn't consider other factors. They figured, you know, I'm, 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 in, I'm it. You know, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm, uh, you know, people are paying attention to me. People are following me. People are blah, 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 blah. And then a lot of people do, do not know that a lot of people are plotting against you. <laughs> and then when the time is right, when the moment of vulnerability, because we all get there, we get to a moment of vulnerability, they're going to turn the lights off, literally, figuratively, and metaphorically. And then you're going to be left exposed. And then, you know, and as they say, no no need of crying over spilt milk, right? No need of doing that. Because you've been told, you've been warned, you know. Cry, a lot of people are going to be crying over spilt milk, especially when it regards, you know, you know, to feel sorry or sad about something that has already happened. Okay, listen, it has already happened. It, it happened. It's done. And a lot of people are going to attempt to try to figure out, okay, what did I miss? What did I miss? What did I miss? And that's going to be, that's going to start to be irrelevant because you're not, because you're going to go through one. Everything's turning around quicker is my point. Okay, once the rug gets pulled from underneath you, then everything, the whole, that's when the collapse. And remember with the collapse, it usually starts from the top down. And things are collapsing, literally, figuratively, metaphorically. And you ought to know better, but you keep putting yourselves back in these same schemes. You know, one, you know, some people go out, go into a scheme. They know it's fraudulent. They know it's a Ponzi. And yeah, they're making millions, and they got millions, and maybe billions in the bank, and or or they assume, <clears throat> and they and 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 like I said. They do not go away. You know, if they were so successful and so this or that, nearly they don't go away because they know that they know it's trickery. They know it's uh, it's it's, uh, uh, it's it's smoke and mirrors. They know they don't have no million dollars in the bank. But who's gonna count it? I'm not. I can care less about it. All right. I suggest go see if you can go to the bank and take out a million dollars in cash. And then, you know, of course, redeposit it. <laughs> I don't know. Do, or give it away. You know, give it to the homeless since some nonprofits are not uh, supporting the, the homeless as they pledged they would. Right? Come on. I don't know why anybody hasn't picked that up. But, you know, it all, it is, it does boil down to greed. But then at some point, like I said, stuff is going to start disappearing. Your materialism is going to start disappearing. And you're going to think, okay, you know, and you're going to get ex extremely paranoid. And then, you know, your behaviors and actions are going to deteriorate. And then what? You know, you're going to look around. You know, you once thought you had yourself on a, on a perfect island. And then you're going to realize you're in a sinking uh, paradise. Your paradise is sinking, literally, figuratively and metaphorically. So 
for those of you that are resonating with me, I, like again, I, I do appreciate your support. Those of you that happen to come up, come upon my face or voice, you know, just listen passively or swipe or move on to the next billions and billions of content out there. It's lots of it. There, you know, a lot of people say, well, there is no excuse. And there isn't. There, there isn't no excuse. But at the same time, you know, if you are still spinning on the same wheel, what, what do you expect to happen? You know, you're just spinning spinning and you're not moving what do you you know so I, i'm gonna keep it going no matter what uh this is you know i know what the uh what i visualize and what i hope to um bring forward and if if others don't please move on don't you don't have to interact with me you don't have to socialize with me you don't have to talk to me you don't have to do anything. And I'm going to make that very clear, you know, real soon about certain things. So I'm going to go ahead and send peace and love all over the stars and moon and mountains. Enjoy your day. Enjoy each other. It's about universal love. Spread it.